Namaste. Hey. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I see the God in you. I am so foolish, girl. This is your reading. Let's tap in and see what you need to know right now with my spiritual confirmation deck. Um, someone close to you will give you an apology. So I was hearing it's that song, It's Too Late to Apologize. I don't know who that is, but I was hearing that song before your reading. So if you've been feeling kind of blue, feeling a little bit down, feeling let down or disappointed by someone, they're definitely going to be giving you an apology. And it's up to you, you know, to forgive and forget. Um, this one says you don't have to tell your close friends and family everything. So, I don't know, maybe this situation that just happened, maybe your family won't be the best for you to go, go to to get advice, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so, I'm just saying, you don't have to tell them everything, because sometimes, like, they just, they don't, God, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to put nobody in my family out but i'm just saying like certain things i'm like mm, not gonna tell them because i already know they're gonna think the worst or give me the worst case scenario and yeah i'm an infj so i i already think too much as it is so i don't need i don't need people making me think about problems i don't have and neither do you okay um Everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. Dang. Okay, so seriously, I feel like if someone tries to play you, if they try to play you out, and this is going to happen soon because it was channeled in red ink. I can't even find that marker. I'm telling you, this was some deep channeling, okay? So whoever this is is going to give you some sort of an apology, if they've been like trying to make you look bad to other people, don't get caught up into, I'm hearing narcissistic triangulation, okay? Don't get caught up into that. You're, you're so much better than that. I'm being guided to pull one more. And then we're just gonna see what else you need to know, okay? Um, we're gonna definitely pull some tarot, so. Wow, I'm done, I'm done, okay? They're testing you because they know who you are spiritually. <sighs> I be trying not to tap into videos like this because I get real passionate. I don't like people being bullied in any sense of the word and I definitely don't, I don't want my soulfulist tribe um, going through stuff like this. I feel like, wow. So on the bottom of the deck it says something about dreams i'm not gonna go into that but if you've been having a dream about this person um your recent dreams are a reflection of yeah your fears and your desires i said i wasn't gonna say that so something is coming up if you have been feeling like somebody's been i don't know just playing games with you and they're trying to like manipulate you through sympathy and they don't deserve it whatever that energy is please just protect Protect your energy. Don't worry because it's going to be done. What's done in the dark, yeah, it's going to come to the light. So for me, that's what that, that dream energy is. That dream energy is whatever is done in the dark. You're going to see the core of who that person is. Um, but also just make sure that it's not your subconscious mind playing games on you. That's why it's so important to own your own energy, okay? Um... Let's see if this has anything to do with your... Let's just see what this has to do with. Okay, if this has to do with your work. Yeah, you know what? Um, you might have decided to, t to, to just sort of walk away from a situation. Or if not walk away, not give as much of your attention to certain people. And I feel that at this time, 
you're being guided to do that. It's okay. Take it the high road. It's all right. Especially if this person you feel is blocking your energy. If you feel like they're blocking you, if you feel like they're blocking your finances, if you feel like they're block blocking your paper, your brand, um, I just feel that, yeah, it's time for you to be emotionally mature. And if you're turning your back on a situation and you're taking the high road, I feel like that's a number one thumbs up from you. Like you're definitely being guided to not show all of your cards, not show all of your hands. It kind of sounds like it's a repeat, but it really does. And for some of you, it really has to do with your finances, okay? We are going to get into love. If you're still watching, stay tuned to the end. Press like, share, and subscribe. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's see. What does this have to do? Okay, for some of you, yeah, this could have to do with your past. This could be a past situation, a past lover, even a past friend. There are so, so many deep emotions involved. And if you've been feeling like someone misses you and they want to say that they're sorry, then you're right. Um, if you want them back, that's great. But the cards are saying for you to take your time, especially if you're going to be going into business. Yeah, because you have been... You have been hurt before by this person. This person has let you down. And for some of you, it could be a group of people is what I'm hearing, but that doesn't necessarily have to be true. You need to think twice when you're dealing with this person. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through. And then we also have Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Um, could be any sign, but it is time for you to really make some sort of solid decision and if you feel guided to keep your guards up but keep moving forward but just slow down the pace and keep your options open that's the whole wave if this is a romantic interest if this is love if this is a love interest if this is someone that is filling you romantically let's just see what are their feelings towards you at this time because I want to know if this is romance you know my readings have crazy plot twists Ooh, <laughs> look at that ace of wands mm, let's just say this person is their feelings towards you is pretty hot and heavy okay <laughs> um you could definitely take your mind off of this previous drama and if there is something scandalous um it's more than likely gonna be uh in between the sheets okay and this could be new and they could be really exciting and cushiony and cuddly and just big you know what i mean like this is really big energy all right <laughs> um that's how they're feeling about you they they do they feel like you're, you're creative and you're exciting um, we do have the Ace of Wands. That's really strong. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, but could be any energy. Um, they feel like the communication between the two of you could be a little bit better. Especially if this is new. It's like you need to respond to them a little bit faster. Even if you've been with them for a while. The communication. The person on your mind, they're feeling towards you. The communication is a little bit shaky, baby. Okay? It's a little bit shaky. They kind of feel like, what What you say? You know, if you're texting this person, be careful what you're saying. If you care about their feelings because you don't want to hurt this person. You don't want to make them um, upset or, you know, especially if it's new. You got to be on your best behavior. Just make sure, you know, you put those LOLs and those, like, cute emojis. <laughs> After you say something sassy, I love it, okay? Um, you know what? 11 11 you could be seeing 11 11 this person could feel like you are their soulmate if even if things are rocky and things get a little bit shaky they are still gonna feel like you're their soulmate okay um for some of you this could be an ending it could have ended okay because this is giving me ending and then like reunion so for some of you this person could be coming back into your life to rekindle something but at the same time listen be careful i'm just getting like be careful what be careful what you say like me i have my mercury in aries and i really have to think before i speak because bae 
like <laughs> Ooh, oh oh my god look at that what they miss you yeah definitely you guys must be seeing 1111 this Fibonacci spiral is really standing out to me oh this person is missing you so much and yeah they feel connected to you um man i'm hearing for some of you you're like is this work it could be work related but yeah this person and i mean like in a professional sense like not romantically if it's work related i'm just saying now if you get it on with your boss or manager or co-worker that's another reading you know what i'm saying you could you could book me for personal i'm just picking up that if this is a straight romantic and you guys don't work together then mm, this person definitely feels like you are their soulmate and yeah if they messed up in the past they're coming they're coming back they're wishing on a star they're hoping and praying you know, they're literally, uh, I'm hearing they're praying to Jesus, Buddha, and Muhammad. They're praying to all of them for you to come back into their life. And I'm not going to say that this is a bad person. Um, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, so don't be surprised if you suddenly see this person. If this person finally says, hey, it's time for us to move in together. Hey, I found that if there is a huge offer, okay, coming in. And I do get, I am seeing papers, okay? So I am seeing something contractual. For some of you, this could lead to something really serious. It's a big deal. This person's feelings towards you, this is a big deal. Um, it's a big deal for them to do this. It's a big deal. And they might be feeling hesitant right now. So if they are creating a little bit of space here with this Eight of Wands, then go ahead and give them more space than necessary. Good things are worth waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the vibe that I'm getting. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Aries. Okay, so let's just kind of switch gears and see what are their current intentions towards you. That's what I want to see and I want to tap into. I definitely get the vibe that their current intentions are too express their love to you especially if they haven't and or just just communicate with you spend more time see what else only oh let me calm down i act like i haven't been doing this since i was like five years old um talking interesting conversating more awaited messages arrived text call email hoovering okay so if you're like posting stuff about yourself online this person's looking online so that they can they're trying to figure out how they're gonna shoot their shots okay some of you could be seeing five 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 fourteen fourteen fifty five okay the number five is significant there's a huge change that's about to occur from this person they just love talking to you if you haven't been speaking to them over the phone, like hearing their voice, they, they love your, they are obsessed with your communication. If you have cut back communication with this eight of wands, kind of in reverse, it's like that's all they want to do. They can't wait to hear from you. They feel like it's the end of the world if they don't get a text message from you. I'm sorry to say that is so lit. You should be so happy, especially if this is someone you want to talk to. They're waiting for your response. They Their intentions are to keep up communication with you, to keep talking to you, to keep you all up in their area. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's... <laughs> I'm real curious to see what else are their intentions. And this is currently, you know, the energy and the frequency can change according to your vibe. So make sure you might want to write this affirmation down in the comments. I am perfection, always heading in the right direction. Okay, that way, you know, you'll start to practice self-soothing um, techniques. Okay, we do have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you. So if you guys are separ separate from this person... 
this person is missing you and they want to come back into your energy they want to say that they're sorry they apologize if this person is creating space or they have created space they're thinking about that space that they have created between the two of you and it's not making them feel 100 percent we do have stalking here so yeah this person could be stalking your social media they could definitely be acting like they're less interested in you than they really are okay this person could be wearing um sunglasses or they could just be i'm not gonna say that they're you know narcissistic but it could seem that way but i don't necessarily get that vibe i just get that this person they could be playing hard to get playing shy especially if this is a beginning or especially if there is some sort of reconciliation that's gonna come from their end of the situation yeah feel me okay what's on the bottom of the deck cassette okay so yeah i feel like they're current what they're gonna do currently is, is think about what's going on so it might be a while for like maybe a week or two before you hear from this person it could be at any moment because they honestly they, they can't stop thinking about it and somehow there's some sort of communication that wants to come through let's see what they currently what what do they want to say to you all right like I was really gonna check out let, let's just let's check out their physical current intentions yeah <laughs> if you guys know me i love details i like to get you, you know what i'm saying i like to get get all the information let's see whether their their physical like their actions that they might possibly take towards you depending on your vibe and your frequency yes oh oh my gosh we do have separation here twice so just be careful that this person isn't intentionally trying to hurt your feelings um i'm also getting that with this separation their intentions are to let you know that they're missing you because they're heartbroken because it hit here it says sadness missing you so they are yearning for you they are missing you they are thinking about you so i guess yeah they're physical um they want to bring that broken heart they want to mend that they want to mend this broken heart um don't be surprised if this person asks you to go out on a date um yeah they might just yeah because with that talking it, it's going to lead to something and it's simply because oh yeah they want to get physical with you now if this isn't if you want something really deep and really truly serious make sure you're expressing how you feel and what it is and what you expect from them so that it's just not all based on physical energy here physical interactions because after all we do have some nights here i didn't see any kings or queens all right so make sure that you know you put up that boundary with them um i am feeling guided to pull one more before we get into what they want to say to you <sighs> oh my goodness okay yes they might if you told this person we're done because you're not serious about commitment babes you're about to get that commitment because they cannot take this separation they're like ultimatums work chrissy teigen gave an ultimatum to john legend and look at her life now sometimes you have to do that i'm just saying doesn't matter if you're a feminine or a masculine watching this i'm just saying like yeah this person they might be so sad and so heartbroken over what has happened and this came up in the previous reading so definitely check all of my readings they are timeless and they are real okay so let's see what does this person actually you know their thoughts what they want to say to you right now let's get down to this one. 
this. We're going to pull a few cards and see. What's, whoa, two came out. Okay, so we have Gossip Only Hurts. Um, yeah, again, you don't have to tell your close friends and family everything that came up in the beginning. So, yeah, this person might feel like, yeah. And then we do have no here in reverse. So, it could be on with this person, but, um, this person, look on. Why does that look reverse to me? Mm, all right, anyway. Uh, yes. So, with this no, I just kind of feel like this person, there's a lot of red here. So it's a lot of you could be dealing with really strong fire sign energy. There is a solid boundary that you put up with this person and it's like, whoa, okay. And if you like to gossip, that's going to definitely cause a wedge. Like don't, don't do that. Keep your relationship private. Keep your information private because you really got to get to know this person, especially if this is new. If you've been with this person for a while, then you already know that maybe you made a huge mistake by gossiping and it doesn't even have to be like you were talking about them. Sometimes we are, I always tell people like telepathy is our first language. People can feel when you're talking about them. People can feel when you're sending them this, this negative energy. So yeah, if you're seeing 222, this message is definitely for you. If you're seeing 2222, this message is definitely for you. Um, but yeah, I just want to say that guided to say that let's just see what else are they thinking i'm also hearing like I'm, i would not tell your secrets so maybe they didn't tell someone something i'm obsessed with your body this person wants to get physical this is capricorn energy also this person wants to get physical with you period like um they just love the way you look and maybe they could have thought like for a second like that's all that you're about is your looks like you just you look good, but like, are you like the one? Are you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just getting the vibe. Like, yeah, this this person, mm, they could like wearing the color black too. It's a lot of black. I feel that color coming through. I like the color black. So let's see what else. Oh, I am coming trust. So we got... Gemini, Virgo energy coming through, Magician energy, I'm coming, trust, this person's coming towards you, point blank, period, they're always going to be there, and if you've been manifesting someone or looking for your person, this is, this is someone who's coming in, and maybe this is how they're, it's going to be, like, they're not going to like gossiping, okay? Um, and maybe your friends or people are sending you off, like, trying to tell you, like, this person doesn't care or they're not there for you. But that's a lie. That's a that's a flat-out lie. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, believe me right now, I'm here to tell you that this person is coming for you. They're not the type of person that's going to want to share. This is a smooth talker, a smooth operator. This is someone that has no problem communicating their feelings. and emotions. They get what they want and they want you. So whatever you've been listening to, like if it's friends or whatever, it's like mm -mm, they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. Your friends and family are sending you off. That's my whole point. Okay. <laughs> because this person is coming for you. You feel me? All right. So... I'm just saying, and I am not trying to make, I'm not trying to make your people mad at me. All, all right. I'm not even trying to go there, but I'm just saying, okay. Seek professional advice. Um, they're real. Their honest thoughts are, they, they could be thinking about marriage. They could be thinking about some serious, serious commitment, talking to older men or older, um, women in their family about you. Okay. I'm talking about the priest, the pope, the pastor, all right? Like, the imam. I'm just saying, they are talking to someone about you, okay? About where, like, where is this going to lead? I need, a good, I need good advice. 
this person is uh, listen okay like i said trust my readings um do you even see me that way if you feel guided to let this person know that you're really serious you want to be taken seriously <sighs> this person could also be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities about you and wondering if you're seeing them so yeah if you feel like this connection is spiritual and you feel guided to tell them yeah i do feel like what we have is spiritual i do feel like some sort of connection to you like that i feel like you should you be, you be comfortable and let them know that 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 you're having that experience right um, let's get some more messages what's up right now love messages from soulfulish girl okay this is my personal deck so let's see what do they want to say to you right now hopefully it's something sweet they have a lot to say first of all a lot of them are losing sleep over you um they might want you to wait for them for something okay let's just see what do they want to say thank you so much for watching don't forget to press like share and subscribe it really helps me when you do that if you like this video um i feel like you're gonna blow up my life this person they just feel like you're gonna make them settle down you're gonna make them like their freedom's gonna be gone but that's why that that full card came up before you guys gotta rewind and see this you know that's why that that came up in the beginning because this person's kind of used to their single life and they're used to um, you know just doing things on their own but it's like they get lonely too so it's like dang <laughs> you're gonna blow up my freedom you're gonna make me actually grow up and settle down oh why did that have to fall so far away but I'm, I'm gonna grab it because I love y'all. That's why I'm gonna do it. Because I feel like whenever the cards fall and I don't get them, <laughs> I'm like later like, oh, I should have just grabbed that because that was good. Alrighty. Let's see. So the last thing I tried to do is think of you. Trust me, that is the truth because baby, they did not want me <laughs> to <sighs> okay i'm just saying i wish i could stop thinking about you oh my goodness you cannot make this up okay i don't channel messages lightly okay i go into deep meditation all right oh i'm not even gonna tell you these messages are so real i it's twice thinking 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 this person is constantly thinking about you so if you have not heard from them and you want to you feel like they need to talk to you they need to say something to you they need to express something to you and even if you're talking to them on the regular they're still thinking about you they're wondering they're thinking about you so much that they're literally seeing your name they're seeing like things that remind them of you they're smelling your perfume this person is constantly thinking about who you they can't stop they wish they could stop the last thing they try to do and for some of you the last thing because this, this could be an ex okay this could be an ex um this could be just it doesn't even have to be an ex it could be someone that you met and you had a connection with and it's just like what the heck but they can't and they wish they could but they can't so i just feel like just expect some sort of that was too deep for me the way that fell out i'm just like that's your reading i'm gonna let's see one more message what do they want to say and then we're gonna get some advice I, I love it okay i'm willing to compete you guys need to watch the previous <laughs> reading um regardless yeah this person's going to be in a competitive state they want you to know even with you too because this is a plot twist right here like they're willing to compete if you're playing hard to get 
this person's gonna play hard to get also so take that take this part of this reading how it resonates for some of you yes this person is willing to compete for you with someone else but for others of you this person's willing to compete if you're playing hard to get so you know um let's get some advice i really want to get some advice from the pocket angels i just love this deck so much you can get it on etsy um let's see what does this person oh need to know I'm, I'm really gonna take them because they just flew out adjustments are required before moving forward look at the fine print take some time to get out of nature breathe relax become the vibrational match and frequency to your desires work on your affirmations and your self-talk okay i am more than enough someone has a message for you so yes i think that's the totality of this reading honestly from start to finish is communication someone's going to be sending you a message if you're waiting for a message they want you to know that yeah adjustments are required when you receive this message all right this could be an apology but maybe this person needs to adjust maybe you need to just relax i'm hearing i'm really hearing that like okay um someone needs your help so in the process like while you have other things going on in your life always remember that someone needs needs your help right now so show up for yourself show up for people that are showing up for you in other words if you're giving your attention and time to someone who's not giving that not matching that energy then focus on someone who needs your help someone who's, who's going to appreciate you all right so that's all i have for today namaste i see the god in you thank you so much i'll see you in your next reading until then peace and love